Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for listening to my channel, for watching my videos, and for commenting. I really, really, really love all your comments. Please keep them coming. I read all of them, and I reply to all of them as well. So please, please don't think that I'm going to ignore you ever. That's not one of my things. Ever, ever, ever. I hate ignoring people. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about how NFJs, unfortunately, unfortunately, do not live in the present moment ever. Um, I meditate for that exact reason because I find that I spend so much of my time, so much of my time in the future, in the present, in my present, whatever my present means to me, in the past, three days from now, five days from now, you know, in a world that doesn't even exist right now, in my head, imagining a world that I want to exist, you know, in my head, thinking about a future, very futuristic place that doesn't even exist right now and might exist. So really, like there's, we live. We don't live in today. We don't live in right now. We live in yesterday, in the future, in some other random time, some other world that we've created in our head. We don't live here right now, right? That's why, as I said, I meditate because meditation is all about living in the right now. And it has been proven that if you spend a lot of time thinking about the past or the future, that you're not going to be the happiest of people, right? I think that's the reason I just spend so much time being um, sad is because we have this tendency to live in the past, the future, in some other time. Right? Now, I'm not going to say that that's actually completely a bad thing. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm such a great storyteller. I think that's the reason I am so good at writing fiction. And a lot of INFJs are very good writers, is because we have an amazing imagination. We have an amazing imagination. You know, we can really make up a random story at the drop of a hat. We're just because it's in our head already, right? We're thinking about it all the time. We're dreaming about it. We're walking through the world while living in that world in our head. So we're walking on this planet, on Earth, but in our head, we're actually on planet Mars or, you know, planet Zomba doing some random thing, right? So it's really like we're living in a completely different world in our head. Now, what does that mean if you're living on this planet and you're, you know, going to real work and you have to live in this real world, it means that we don't know what day it is. We have no idea what day it is. We don't know what, what year it is. It's so odd because I always have to look at my laptop or my phone to figure out, first of all, what time it is because I have no idea what time it is, obviously. Not even an inkling of what it could be. Is it day? Is it night? What is, what's going on? Um, but I always have to look at the, the clock to see what date it is. I have no idea what date. What month are we in? Is it February? Is it March? I have no idea, right? And year, oh my god, that's like my worst <laughs> enemy. I have no idea what year we're in. Is it 2018? It must be, right? Because I can see it on my screen right here. But I always have to check my phone. I always have to look at my laptop. I always have to look at some kind of device that tells me what, what where I am, what time I, am I in. Because otherwise, because I'm walking around in my head, I don't know what the hell's going on in this real world. Also, I know that because of that, because I spend so much time in my head, I'll walk past someone that I know, that I have no idea that I even existed there, or is I, that I walked past them, I have no idea, unless they kind of say, hey, boom, or hey, Shaka. I'm like, oh, shoot, wow, I didn't even notice you were there. Again, that's not something that I just say out loud, but I always end up saying, whoa, wow, where did you come from? Which is not a really nice thing to say to someone that you didn't even notice that they existed. But it happens to me all the time, I'll be walking past a group of people that I know, but I have no idea that they are actually there because I'm in my head thinking about, oh, so what ne what video am I going to do next? Or, oh, what's going on in this world that I've created in my head? Or, what am I going to write in my fiction story next? Or, blah, 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 right? There's a billion different things going on in my head, a different worlds that I'm living in that I am kind of spending time in, I'm not really spending time here on this planet, this planet Earth, this planet Earth and on the date that you're in. You're not actually spending time there. You're spending time some other planet, some other world, some other date, some other, some other reality. Okay. Again, it's not a bad thing. I think that makes us very gifted storytellers. We have a great imagination. We can make up worlds at a drop of a hat. It's a great talent to have. But, and this is a big but, guys, and that's, again, why the re one of the main reasons why I meditate is because I really want to always balance myself out. I don't want to be this person who always lives in the future or in the past or in a random world some other time in the future. I want to sometimes, occasionally, live in this real world where real things are going on. I want to spend time with my family. I want to spend time with loved ones here, right now, in this moment in time. I don't always want to be away from them. I don't always want to be in a different world, right? Because then I end up not paying attention to them and not realizing that 
these moments that we have are fleeting, right? They are going to die soon, as am I. And the moments that I have with them, I want to spend with them here right now. I don't want to always be thinking about that world in my head, Zomba, whatever it might be. I want to be here on planet Earth with my loved ones at the moment, right? My family right now, my friends right now, whoever they might be, I want to spend time with them right now. I don't always want to be rushing off to some other time because, you know, who knows what might happen in the future. I might get into a car accident tomorrow and die. You know, they might get whatever and they might not be here anymore. And so I don't want to waste my time with them. So I've really been trying and I've been really using meditation and mindfulness as a tool in order to bring my INFJ back under control and back here right now in this moment in time. Also, because we spend a lot of time procrastinating, using this imagination of ours, we don't actually get anything done. We don't actually get any of our work done. So we don't actually use our skills, our talents, our abilities, our gifts to enhance this world because we spend way too much of our time procrastinating because we are perfectionists and we rather procrastinate, um, you know, going into these random worlds or using our imagination than get our work done. Again, that's not a good thing either because we're wasting our time on this planet. We have very limited time. We might die tomorrow, as I said. And so we need to use our unique gifts, talents, and abilities right now, in this moment in time, as best as we can, because, again, we might not be here tomorrow, right? So in all cases, every single time you look at it, it's a great thing that we have such a powerful imagination, that we're so great at looking at all the things around us, at moving from place to place, at being in our head, at creating stories, awesome stuff. I love that about myself, but I always, as an INFJ, want to balance myself out and bring myself back to this moment. I want to be here. I want to really be here because a lot of things that are happening here, I'm missing. I'm missing them because I'm spending time in my head. I'm spending time here in Zomba land rather than spending time here on Earth, right? So that means that I'm missing out on birthdays, on first steps, on on important news from loved ones and family and friends because I'm spending way too much time in my head and I don't want to do that, right? It's not only bad for me because I miss out on all of these amazing conversations and moments to bond, but also it's bad for all the people who love us because then we're missing out on, on their moments, on their important moments. And I don't want to do that, guys. There are, you know, I have very few people that are important to me, but there are people that are important to me and I want to be there for them as much as possible as much as possible as I can as an INFJ. Hope again this makes sense to you guys. Hope that I was able to explain myself to you as much as possible. A lot of times as an INFJ, it makes absolute sense in here. And then I speak out loud and I think to myself, wow, that made no sense, right? It's a complete mess when it comes out. So again, I hope it makes sense and I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. If you guys have any suggestions or feedback or anything like that, let me know and comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.